Hi everyone, you are welcome on my YouTube channel Capso. In this video, I am going to tell you about the role of trends in research topic selection and how the research trends are checked by using scientific databases. Before I start, I would like you to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Being a scientific professional, everyone needs to search a research topic for the same they require to know about the current trends. Trends help us know the hot research area. Watch this whole video if you really want to know about the exact process of searching trends. So here we go. Here you can see uh, the Google search engine and uh, I will search for PubMed search engine here. I will go on uh, the page of PubMed website and here I will search for different terms uh, these are given here first one is diabetes then cancer psoriasis arthritis tuberculosis and typhoid I will uh, check the current status and current trend of these diseases so I am going to choose diabetes first and I will search its status here using uh, PubMed search engine and now we will check its status here we can see uh, almost uh, 4 lakhs articles you can see on diabetes so uh, so many research are going on uh, this particular topic so we will check uh, the current status or market demand of uh, this disease particular disease as we all know uh, meta-analysis or uh, clinical trial or randomized clinical trial are uh, the correct indication of the market demand of any disease so now we will select for uh, clinical trial and then we will select for meta-analysis also and finally we will select a randomized clinical control trial so after having uh, these parameters picked we will get only 26,277 results on diabetes so uh, it is basically uh, the articles which are being published particularly on the clinical trials on diabetes so uh, it is showing the current trend on diabetes and uh, you can see a graph uh, you can see so it is from 2010 to 2020 and uh, we can expand this graph and you will you will see that how day by day uh, the research on diabetes is going uh, uh, going on and it is being increased day by day the pattern we get is increasing here and so uh, on diabetes if we check the pattern of this disease uh, so we can uh, say that the pattern is increasing now we will check for another disease it is cancer and uh, we will just paste the term cancer over here and we will check its status and uh, you can see uh, the 75,585 results on cancer then all the parameters have already checked here uh, 10 year duration is fixed clinical trial meta-analysis and randomized control trial is fixed so we get only 75,000 results on cancer and the pattern we can see here is increasing and it is somewhat flattened when we see from 2014 to 2019 so uh, the current is uh, current situation of this uh, cancer is almost uh, increasing pattern you can see now we will go for uh, the third disease psoriasis we will check its status let's see what happens uh, see here all the parameters are checked 
and uh, on that basis we will check its uh, current market demand so the pattern is increasing you can see here uh, it is increasing day by day and we get only uh, 1595 result but the pattern is increasing so resource which are going on this disease is emerging so emerging trend you can find on this particular disease now the fourth disease we will go for is arthritis so copy and paste arthritis over here and we will find its uh, current situation you can check here uh, 9128 results on arthritis and all the parameters are ticked here and uh, the pattern is increasing in the case of arthritis also the pattern is increasing so uh, it is also an uh, emerging area of research uh, now check for tuberculosis let's see what happens okay so uh, all the parameters are there and uh, the pattern is increasing you can see here so typhoid now we'll check for uh, typhoid and uh, the pattern of typhoid is uh, it is not uh, good you can see only 115 results but the pattern is zigzag you can see you cannot see that the pattern is increasing or decreasing but it's zigzag somewhere it is uh, increased and somewhere it is decreased so uh, uh, you can't see that uh, typhoid is uh, emerging area of resource so we have found that uh, diabetes cancer, psoriasis, arthritis and somewhat tuberculosis are uh, some uh, area of prime research on which uh, the research is going on uh, significantly. Now we will check for type of psoriasis whether any specific type is being uh, investigated or not. So we will go for uh, firstly psoriasis. Psoriasis, postular psoriasis. Yes, we will go firstly for uh, postular psoriasis and we will check its status. So, by this graph, uh, you can see uh, that all the parameters are checked, and we will check uh, the clinical trials on, on this particular disease. Only 27 clinical trials in 10 years, you can see, and the pattern is somewhat increasing. So uh, it is not that much demanding area of resource. So uh, next we will go for plague psoriasis. Let's see what happens. So here we get uh, 542 results. So it is somewhat uh, interesting topic to work upon and uh, the pattern is increasing you can see here so it is somewhat uh, good disease to work on now we will uh, check for nail psoriasis we have found only 61 results and uh, the pattern is not so much encouraging uh, so we will uh, again check for other disease also uh, like cancer let's see which type of cancer is being investigated uh, significantly so here we will uh, first check on breast cancer so the pattern of breast cancer you can see here almost 10,500 results you can find here and the pattern is increasing and uh, it is somewhat flattened from 2014 to 2019 so uh, this area is uh, significant to work upon and you can go for this disease now we'll go for another cancer uh, lung cancer suppose 
and we'll check the status of lung cancer here the pattern of lung cancer is almost similar to the breast cancer here you can find 8146 results on which the research is, has already been done. Now we'll go for diabetes. Diabetes. Uh, we have already checked its status, so we'll go for diabetes mellitus. Let's see. Almost 18,726 results we can find here. So uh, it is a quite interesting area to work upon, and the trend is very increasing. And uh, people are searching for uh, this disease, so it is hot area to research upon. Now we'll go for arthritis also. Let's see what happens. Arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis. So we will see its status. And uh, almost 3,133 uh, results we can find here. And the trend is increasing. So one more disease I want to show you here that uh, dermatitis we will check its status yeah you can see only uh, 2129 results on dermatitis but the pattern is flat when we check for contact dermatitis and so we find the pattern is decreasing day by day. So after having this uh, type of information, we will be able to select at least from these type of diseases that which should be selected for your next resource topic. So this is all about for this video. I hope you like this and so you gain a lot from this video. The next video will be on the process of selection of research topic. So watch our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching.